Hey everybody, um, I got this self-propelled Power Smart. I believe it's a 21 inch, uh, 170 cc. I bought it at Menards. I just bought it back in July, and this thing, well, they're kind of junk. I don't know. The self-propelled already broke on it, and I finished the season out, and now it's winter time. I figured I'd change the oil on it and everything, being the off season. So. I don't know if you've ever had one of these things on its side uh, while there's oil in it, but you turn it up right and these things are hell to start. The oil flows back into the cylinders or whatever. And if you do get it started, there's a big puff of black smoke that comes out of it and they're just hell to start after that. But anyway, I went ahead and drained the oil before I did this and I'm going to put the oil back in it. But why I did that and had it on its side, uh, I had drained the oil and the gas and everything. I sharpened the blade while I was at doing this but I wanted to show you what had happened to myself propelled uh, I went ahead and put this kind of back in order to way I got everything I was going to kind of hold my flashlight and, uh, here the uh, I'm going to take the blade off easy enough I put everything like I said put everything back just to show you how this thing's fairly easy to do then there's a cover here that comes off but here's this belt I was talking about. See, I already got it off, but I was just doing this for demonstration. But there's this little flywheel back in here. And it was it was clogged up. It had come off that flywheel. Damn, I don't know if I can. That flywheel right there is where that the belt goes. And then it got caught in between. It had come off that that flywheel and got caught in between there. And then it had shredded my belt. See what that thing looks like. And it just got caught. It got caught in there, I guess, because I kept trying to trying to use it, thinking it would just engage at some point. Well, it just kept getting wedged further and further in there. So it was. I didn't want to cut it out of there. I want because I wanted to get the exact measurements on what I needed to replace it. But anyway, I took this uh, took this cover off. Uh, I believe to get this cover off was a, a, a 10 millimeter socket. And to take the blade off itself is a 14. So um, it's easy enough to get to. You don't, it was kind of intimidating at first. I cleaned all this grass out and I thought I was really going to have to go in through here and take all this crap off or something to get to it. But you really don't. If you take this uh, this housing off up underneath here, after draining the oil, you can get to it pretty easily. You get all that that grass up out of there and get up in there to get your belt out of there. So uh, I guess I'm going to go to one of the lawnmower places around here, maybe uh, Roll King or Tractor Supply or something like that, and get one of the belts for it and. Put it back in there so it, it it's not it's it shouldn't be that bad of a fix so just to let you know i tried to contact the company and my email bounced back and they're just crap i don't know if they're going out of business because of covid or what or they're just one of those companies sell something cheap and then service just really sucks on them but uh i got this at uh i got it at menards i needed something in a hurry and this was the only one on the shelf back last july uh, i think i got it for like 250 bucks, but uh, and the belt had already shredded. But there we go. I didn't see anything on YouTube about the belt replacement, so I thought I'd do a real quick video on it. Hope this helps.